to six, a helping hand with your land. In order to find the answer, New Holland asked Prairie Agricultural Machinery Institute, PAMI, to conduct independent combine productivity comparison tests on 2015 New Holland CR990 Elevation and John Deere S690 combines. PAMI has 40 years of experience testing harvesting equipment in various locations worldwide, with a specialty in Western Canadian crops and conditions. The main categories PAMI set out to measure were harvesting productivity at a target loss rate of one bushel per acre. At that productivity level, they also measured fluid consumption efficiency, fluid rate per hour, and fluid rate per acre. Let's take a look at what New Holland learned from the testing, easily accessible at mynewholland.com. But first, let's see how these two combines compare. Here is how the specifications of these two combines compare in relation to horsepower, feeding, rotor type, grain tank capacity, unloading speed, cleaning, cleaning area, and residue management. Tests were conducted in wheat and canola near Humboldt, Saskatchewan, Canada in September 2015. The five key categories were harvesting productivity, total fluid rate, fuel rate, grain loss, and area harvesting rate. The wheat testing was conducted in conditions where engine power was the limiting factor for harvesting productivity. The crop harvested was Canadian Western Red Spring wheat. The field average was 59 bushels per acre with average grain moisture of 14.5%. The canola crop harvested was Invigor L261. The canola windrows used for testing were inconsistent and poorly formed due to wind and rain in August, which tangled and logged crop, led to a difficult feeding condition and was common in the area where the test was performed. The field average yield was 52 bushels per acre with average moisture of 6.6%. New Holland has a 4% better harvesting productivity in wheat and up to 10% in canola. They also harvested 9% more grain per gallon of fuel and diesel exhaust fluid than the competition. That 6% lower total fluid usage per acre in both wheat and canola. There's an incredible difference of 13% gallons of fuel per acre in wheat and a 9% difference in canola. On a 5,000 acre farm with planted 2,500 acres of wheat and 2,500 acres of canola, this would translate to a savings of up to $18,000 just by using the New Holland Combine. This is $3.60 per acre. What would you do with an extra $3.60 per acre in your operation? This is the equivalent to 1.5 acres more per hour than the competition, while maintaining a lower grain loss to maximize a farmer's return. Results of these tests demonstrate that operating the New Holland CR990 elevation translates into greater productivity, higher capacity, better threshing and separation efficiency, and higher fuel and total fluid efficiency. More productivity, more efficiency, more grain in the bin, more money in your pocket. The choice is yours. Again, for an exclusive look at the full report, visit mynewholland.com or see your local New Holland dealer.